Right, let's just check everything's working. Good afternoon, everybody. Do you know there's been an update to TikTok and there's some really good new features on here. Oh, I don't want to be doing this. We're going to have to play this at some point, though, because there's a, like this new... There's some like games on here, which looks quite interesting. So, uh, right, I'm just going to check. First of all, let me mirror the camera. Is that the right way? That's the right way. <laughs> so welcome in everyone. I shall just give it a couple of minutes um, and then we shall make a start. Hello everybody. I should go and put my elf hat on, shouldn't I? What do you think? Hello Anne. How are you doing? Good to see you. So we'll make a start in a minute, a couple of minutes. So uh, I am, I just wanted to ch check everything is working. I think it is. And I just went to go press the go live button and there's all these new features. I don't know if it's going to show up on your side. I think it's the same things as before, but they've changed everything around. Yeah, so I'll, yeah, if you can let people know I'm on TikTok, uh, let's try and share it out. And I always forget to share this out. Let's see if we get a lot of people in. Right, so I'll share to Alexis and a few other ticks. You can only share out to so many people, I think. You can only do 15. So let's try that again. Let's find out. Yeah, share out, guys. Let's share out to as many people as possible. Then I'll explain to you what's going on. Because we're going to be doing some cooking. Um, right, let's find this. I have added an item to the shop today because it is something I'm using. I don't usually do that, this, but um, because it is winter and it's very, 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 very cold. You're probably going to need one of these. And it's Christmas as well coming up. So there might be one or two people might say, oh, I'll, where can I buy one? And you can tap, but I won't be mentioning it too much, okay? Um, so I've shared it out. I think I've done enough but as, as possible. There's Gemma as well. Okay, I think... I can't share to everybody so so good afternoon everybody welcome in so welcome it's cooking saturday uh, so once a month uh we do a cooking theme and this month well it was kind of was it last month or this month i can't remember it just the dates went up to today which was the second of december um because i think most of us are quite busy over christmas but if you want to when you when christmas happens um, come live and do a, a live stream, like festive live stream. That's the best thing. But today's theme is favourite recipes and we're going to be cooking, I'm going to be cooking uh, a vegetable soup and a chilli con carne. So hopefully we'll, uh, it will turn out all right. So it's going to take me about 30 minutes to do the soup because uh, that's how long it takes the uh, to do. Well, it actually takes 21 minutes. But we're going to do it for 30 minutes because we're going to saute the onions and some of the veg. Um, so, yeah, we've got lots of live streamers coming on today. We've got Anne Rush after myself. We've got uh, Jay Opera. That might be on Twitch. Uh, we've got Gemma coming live. We've got Darby coming live. Uh, sadly, no Brenda this time because she is getting ready to go, go over to... Uh, come over to the UK from the States and I see Jay Opera's just joined. Good to see you Jay. Um, so yeah, if you're watching this on a replay then uh, do comment down below in the chat as well. Let me know if you're watching on a replay. So, shall we get started because it's going to... Although these two recipes, they're not too um, difficult to make, there's a bit of preparation to go with it. So. Uh, you're really stuck for recipes. I have so many. I know that's the problem when it's favourite recipes. It's really tricky to, to know what to cook. Uh, I was going to cook a go on fish curry and I went to Asda yesterday and they, they simply cook packs. They didn't actually have them in stock. And every time I've gone in the supermarket, uh, this was like a couple of months ago, I've always seen it and I'm like, the only time you want something it's never there when you want it. So, so yeah, it's going to be a quick, a quick, um, quick food. So, should we get started then, guys? And what I'll do is I will flip you around. It's gone very dark in here, so I'm gonna have to put on a light. Um, so yeah, um, so lots of live streamers today, guys. If you're live streaming, put some emojis up. Put like a load of stars in the chat, and then people can follow you. And then, if you come live on TikTok, then 
people will see you. Um, but let me know, let people know where you're going to be. I don't always respond to the comments, as you know. So Darby's one of our live streamers here. So make sure you follow her. Anne's coming live. So Jay's, no, Jay's coming live as well. And if you ever want to take part in the Cooking Saturdays and you love cooking for next year, then just message me and uh, we can add you on to the cooking live stream, uh, like cooking train, that's what we call it. So, uh, And I want to say a big shout out to Melanie and Bill as well, if you're watching this on the replay. We love you so much. So we're, you know, right. So let's get back to cooking because that's what we're here for. Jay says, where are you eating? This doesn't look like your kitchen. I know, well, I have like the smallest kitchen in the world, but I've got you in a different position. This is my fridge. But yeah, it looks it looks like a different <laughs> different kitchen, doesn't it? It's the same kitchen, Jay. I've just put you in a different position. So anyway, let's flip you around and then we'll make a start. I'm going to pin up the uh, vegetable, the vegetable, the soup maker. There we go at the bottom of the screen. So if you're in the UK, yeah, do you like the lobster? This is the little... Uh, See some of the fridge. Does, does anybody else have fridge magnets? Do you like the little uh, lobster? This is from. Is it a lobster or is it a crab? I think it's a crab. It was from Bridlington. It's like a Bush took a trial, isn't it? <laughs> so yeah. And there's a turtle here as well. I got this from. Uh, I got this from Marmaris in uh, Turkey. Turkey. Uh, turtles. What else have we got? Oh, good old Blackpool. We like Blackpool. That's the Vegas of the North. What's that say? 70 quid, says Nerd. 70 quid. Oh, for the soup maker, yes. Uh, and then what else have I got? I've got... Uh, we went we went there as well. Let me just take this off. Oh, it's stuck to the fridge. I was going to show you the uh, Scarborough Castle one. So, yeah, that's an idea, Dav. Yeah, totally agree. You've got to show your fridge magnets today. So, show your fridge magnets. Where else have I been? Um, Whitby Abbey, home of... Dracula. Do you know Dracula? I want to show you something here that I kept. There's uh, Whitby Abbey there. I want to show you this. This was the, the literally, right, the day we went to Blackpool, um, we went to the Sea Life Centre, but check out, the, look at the date. I kept this because of the date. 02, 02, 2020, and we all know what happened a month later yeah so I kept it that was the last place I went to before lockdown so I thought I'd just show you that right let's get on to the cooking then guys <laughs> okay uh, right I'm gonna flip you around it's, I'm gonna have to put this light on so you can see right hopefully oh we're moving oh my goodness this tripod is brilliant and I had it set up perfectly right is this gonna work I hope it's gonna work can you see? We're gonna. Is that good? I think that's that's not a bad position, is it? I'm not gonna put the light on just yet, though, because um, it's not that dark yet. But it will get dark. So what we're gonna do then is we're gonna make a vegetable soup first. So I'm gonna start with some potatoes. We're gonna peel or cut up a red pepper. Basic for a soup is an onion, and then I, I want it more carrot based. So we've got some three carrots here. So uh, let's get started. So I will try and read the comments as we go along. I'm going to peel the potatoes. You don't have to peel the potatoes if you if you don't want to do that. But because um, sometimes the skin adds a lot of flavour. and It just depends on how clean your potatoes are. A lot of people get wonky pet potatoes now and which are a little bit more affordable. And let's let's be honest, we don't want food to go to waste, do we? So. I'm just going to peel them, but sometimes I don't peel them. And then sometimes when I do mashed potato as well, I don't actually peel the potatoes. And also when I'm doing roast potatoes, I like to keep the skins on. So let me just peel them. I will try and read the comments as we go along as best I can. So hopefully you're all well and I know what you've all been up. Well, I know, I know someone's not, well, we know... <laughs> We know someone who's in the chat right now who's... Do you want, do you want to explain... Who want, do you want to explain yourself? <laughs> yes, Darby Jones. Darby Jones. Have you had a lot of snow um, again, Darby? Because we had a covering on, I think it was on Wednesday. And um, 
it's just been really cold. Last night it got down to minus, I think it was minus, in some areas was minus 10, which as it made it the coldest night for over 15 years. Like the earliest since it, you know, the rain, and uh, not the rain, the snow and the, and the cold weather. So we've got our potatoes there. Let me just pop them to one side. I'm going to peel the carrots. You don't really have to peel everything if you don't want to, but as I say, this is going to then go straight into the soup maker. And uh, we're going to saute the onions for 10 minutes. Okay. <clears throat> And then we'll do the chilli con carne, which don't take long to, to cook with some rice. So quite an easy, an easy recipe. Although I do have a few little, I've got a few uh, little uh, tips for both recipes that I like to make it a little bit extra special. Okay. So yeah, I'm I'm hoping to come on live throughout the festive period um, and do something festive. So I'm thinking, because cause Christmas Eve falls on a Sunday, I'm going to be busy on the Sunday, but I'm thinking the 23rd I might come on, or the 22nd. One of them days that week I will be, uh, I will be live and we'll do something quite festive. If it gets too dark, let me know in the comments. In fact, I'll just pop the light on now, I think. That's better, isn't it? That's better. You're making lamb lamb chops and roasted potatoes tomorrow. That sounds nice, Anne. I've been loving the, the gonks. <laughs> so what happened was I, I bought two gonks. I'll show you them as well from a shop. And Anne then found hers. She sent me the picture of them. And then I asked you, what, what do you call your gonks? Oh, the one that you showed me first was called, what was it called, the big one? I think it was called the big one. It did make me smile. I'm just gonna get rid of this. You can keep your uh, vegetable skins, any skins and scraps. And This is a great recipe for Christmas. And you've got a load of vegetables left over. Anything you've got. And uh, we're actually going to be making a smooth soup today, not a chunky soup. Because I do like I do like a, uh, a smooth soup. So I'm just going to chop the ends off. Although you could keep them if you wanted to. Yeah, probably best not to keep the roots. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop these straight into the soup maker. Once we've uh, chopped these up. So you, you can cut them into uh, circles, squares, anything, any any shape. Because the uh, soup maker is going to blend everything up. And it, also if you're doing a chunkier soup, it actually cooks really well. I think it took 20 five minutes or 28 minutes so I'm gonna get these in the soup maker okay this is the uh, top of the soup maker here with the blade it's very powerful very sharp so just be careful if you're uh, if you when you're using this and the lid comes up can you see that there so it's here at the side I'm gonna pop them in okay oh. so in there you go Let's cut up this, these two carrots. As I say, I prefer a, a more carrot-based soup. And with potatoes, it actually thickens up the soup. So if you're looking for a, if you want, if you like a thick soup, add more potatoes. Because when we had the water, like when I made the leek and potato soup last, was it last week, week before? It was quite a thick soup, so I, I say add more um, potato. Add more, add more liquid. So add less potatoes if you want. It. 
you know, more smooth. But you can always blend it up and add more water to it. Okay, so now I'm going to add in the potatoes. How are we doing for time? I'm just thinking I think we're alright. Now I do have a vegetable chopper, <laughs> as you know. It keeps sliding off. But yeah, the smaller you cut your potatoes, the quicker they will cook. But as I say, it's going to cook anyway and then blend up. How are we doing, guys? We've got plenty of time. <laughs> Thanks, Anne. So what's everybody been up to? Are we all in the festive spirit yet? Have we all got our Christmas trees up? I'm doing mine tomorrow. I've not got the tree yet. Not got the tree yet, but I'm gonna be uh, doing that tomorrow. Right, let's get them in. What I'm gonna do is add the onions, and I'm gonna give it one good mix. So I want the onions. I generally put the onions on the bottom first, so they cook. But I found that when I sautéed it with some oil, the onions slightly. Not burnt, but they were they were cooked. <laughs> Let's just say that. So, uh, but I'm going to mix it all together this time. I must be mad. I'm using a knife to cut up my vegetables. <laughs> he must be thinking, what is he doing? He's not used a knife to cut up his vegetables in. Is it three years? <laughs> Long time. Right, onions. Okay, I might cheat now and use the use the actual uh, vegetable chopper. So a little tip for onions that I always do, cut the ends off, skins on, cut it down the middle. And it just makes it so easy to peel your, your onions. Like so. Here we go. Right. Do you know what? I'm not going to bother. I'm not using the vegetable chopper. We'll use the knife. Not the best, but I do... It, as I say, it all gets blended up. So. This is why I do not use a knife. So get all them in. I'm trying not to go over the line of the vegetable soup maker. Soup maker because... If you fill it up too much, then uh, it might. It's got like a marker on it that indicates. I don't think it turns itself off, but I think it does something where it knows if you've put too much in. I could use a smaller knife here. <laughs> Alright, let's get this in. So I like to break it all up. And then lastly is um, the peppers. So I'm going to use a red pepper. Take the seeds out. Great time of the year to keep your seeds now because you can pop them in some paper towel and uh, wrap them up, pop them in an airtight bag with a little bit of water on the um, paper towel, pop them in a warm place like where you're gas boiler might be around there when it's warm and they will germinate you can pop them in some soil and then come come March April May you'll have some uh, free pepper plants there you go right I'm just going to chop the peppers up so what I'm going to do is sort we'll even use the tops today there you go it's all going to get blended up. If you've not got peppers, don't worry. You could always add some uh, tomatoes. Or, I um, don't know. If you think of anything else, what else does, do you like in your vegetable soup? Pop them in the comments. That smells amazing already. Right, so, here we go. Here's this, here it is. That's everything in there, can you see? I'm going to pop the lid on. In fact, I'm going to spray it with some oil. 
I'm going to put a little bit of oil in there. I'm going to mix it. Get a spoon. I'm going to add a little bit of water, not not too much. And that's just to help it like steam and it'll help with the vegetables. So we've mixed that in oil, some water. I'm going to pop the lid on. I think that's everything for now. No salt and pepper yet. I'm not adding any salt and pepper yet. So I'm going to pop the lid on. Switch this on. See if I can just lift this up just a little bit. Now you can't really see it that well, but at the side you've got all these different settings. Can you see? So I'm going to switch this on. Hopefully it's going to work. <laughs> One minute. It worked before. Oh, I need to plug it in this side. There you go, to the beep comes on. I can just lift this up just a little bit to show you. There we go. So I'm going to press the uh, start button, no mode. I'm going to go to saute, and this is going to saute for 10 minutes. Press start, like so. And then once the 10 minutes are up, we'll add the water in, the stock cubes, salt and pepper and any herbs. So what that's doing is it's just cooking the vegetables, softening them down a little bit. You don't have to do this function if you don't want to, because it will automatically cook. It just, I, I think it makes the soup taste a lot better. Okay, so that's the soup, guys. We'll come back to that in 10 minutes. Next thing I'm going to do is we're going to cook, well, we're going to prepare the vegetables for the chili con carne. Chili con carne. So for the chilli, I've got this. I've got some chilli con carne mix. It kind of is, Darby, yeah, it's like a pressure cooker. I've not tried to cook any meat in there. You can't cook meat in there. But yeah, for 10 minutes, it's gonna really intense, tensely cook the vegetables. So, but there's there's some, some questions I've been asked, like, could you like make, um, I don't know if it was for the soup make, it might have been for something else, but but yeah, it's kind of like a pressure cooker, but I, I've not, they don't recommend cooking any meat in there. Okay, so chili con carne, this is the mix I'm using, and this is all the spices. So we've got chili pepper in here, onion, cumin, paprika, uh, cocoa powders in this as well. Well, that's <laughs> that was my uh, secret re uh, like tip. For the chili con carne but let's get cutting these vegetables so again we've got uh, this time a green pepper we've also got a yellow pepper we've got a red onion yeah dark chocolate I did think dark chocolate uh, and then we're going to be adding in some Mexican style beans these have got kidney beans kidney beans are fine as well we've also got some chopped tomatoes this is these have got herbs and then also some sort of Italian seasonings so mixed herbs there's got is going to go in there as well okay and then some rice and the beef so let's let's chop these up I'll start with the red peppers first so what's everybody else cooking I think Anne's making I've completely forgotten, Anne, what you're making. <laughs> Remind me. Okay, let's cut these into little, like, strips. Can you hear that soup maker? It's, it's not too noisy, but it does... Uh, you can tell it's, it's doing something. If you want to like stir 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 it halfway, that's up to you. But we've already kind of mixed it all up, so. Right, so that's the yellow pepper. Let's pop 
these in a little or on a plate. Now I thought you'd not told me. <laughs> right, let's pop them on there. So I've had some new books recently as well. I've had a. Uh, I'm going to be doing some more recipes um, videos over the next couple of weeks up to Christmas because I got a new air fryer book. And there's, I've chosen about six or seven recipes from it. Um, and then I also got another new book from the Hairy Bikers, their new comfort food book. So I'm hopefully going to be doing some of those recipes. Oh, and I've also found a recipe for, I think it was a lemon drizzle cake. And there was a, some pie recipes, like, like beef, beef and potato, beef, no, meat and potato pie. So that is what is coming up. Yeah, I do need to get back into cooking, <laughs> doing some of the recipes again. And cooking live as well. If you would like me to do some more cooking live streams, let me know. Let me know what type of recipes you, which is your favorite recipes? What's your favorite recipes? So that's all the peppers chopped up, now we're going to do the onion. And I've got a question to ask you as well. Does potatoes belong in a chilli? Does potatoes belong in a chilli? Yes or no? Put a 1 if you think they should. Put a 2 if you think they shouldn't. Jay says no, Darby says no, I said no, I said no, potatoes don't belong in a chilli. So I don't know where that has come from. So everyone's saying that no, they don't belong in a chilli. What else would you add to your chilli? Let me know in the comments. Let's cut, the, cut up this onion. And we've got four minutes left for the soup. Then what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll do the next stage of the soup, which is to add the water. And then we will uh, we will start to cook the chilli. Now, I loved your comment, Jay, about the winter. <laughs> I didn't know if it was because... I thought to myself, well, when do, when do you normally have a chilli? Do you have it in the summer? I love a chilli all year round, but mainly I prefer a chilli actually in in the winter time. I don't know why that is. Maybe it's because it's just kind of, it reminds me of like cottage pie and those sort of meals. That, that should be really um, the next theme, I think, is comfort foods. What do you reckon for January? Well... As you know, like a proper, as in a proper one. We're gonna we if you still come live before Christmas. Of course, I'll do a festive one, but then the one after that should be uh, comfort foods, things that you uh, that you uh, like when the you know when you're just feeling a bit when the weather's a bit nasty and. I'm dropping me onions, guys. Are we? If if, if you could see what has just happened. <laughs> <laughs> my onions were get sliding off the plate. I'll show you in a minute. Oh my gosh. Right, I'm going to heat my pan up so it's nice and hot as well. And then I'll turn you around in a second. But I do need to... Um, I've got a few things I need to do here. Turn on my pan, for one. Add the water to the rice. Here's the rice. Switch the actual oven on. That would help. Here's the rice, guys. I've got 120 grams of basmati rice. So that's going uh, in... I don't know how much water to add, though. Um, I'm just going to cover it over, I think, and then put it on to boil. So, general, isn't the general rule if you add... You've got to add the same amount of millilitres to grams? The rice or something? I can't remember. 
Right, we're almost there. Right. So if you just joined, we're making a vegetable soup. Let me just lift. Can I lift this up? So we're making a vegetable soup here. We've got two minutes left. We're going to add in the vegetable stock cubes and some water. Now you can use hot water or cold water. That's fine. I've got some kind of pre pre-boiled water there. So we're going to fill that up. So we've got one minute left for that. Now, a little tip for your soup. I'm going to be using vegetable, soup, uh, vegetable stock and chicken stock. So if you can get these stock cubes, we're going to be adding two of these in. Should we have a look at it and see what it looks like? Set my pans on, yep, my pan's nice and hot. So we're nearly there. Nearly there. <laughs> hey Alexis, good to see you. It was nice to see you at Starbucks the other day when you were having your uh, festive drink. Do you want to see the view outside? Look at this view outside with the sun, the sun setting. Sorry for the mess. Are you ready? it work. Look at that view. Can you see, see the sunset? Look, snow outside. It's not snowing yet but it is forecast tonight. Look at that view. Right, I need to flip you back round. <laughs> Sorry for the mess in here. Right, there we go. Yes, I heard you. Just wait. Wait a minute. Right. Right, so we take the lid off, we're going to give it a mix, Let's, uh, I'm going to flip you up, there we go, that's what it looks like, nice close up, oh that smells really good, so that's, oh and we're steaming up a bit, so that's sautéed for about 10 minutes, okay so what I'm going to do now is add in my stock cube, so let me just do that quickly. So the chicken stock's going in. So we're just going to break it in because it's going to do everything for you. It's not going to even, you don't even have to stir it. Oh! <laughs> so, so I'm going to add in the chicken stock, the vegetable stock. I just break it up into the pot, add the water. Make sure you don't go over the line. I can see the line. I'm just going to give it a quick stir. I just like to make, give it an extra stir before it starts to cook. Add in some mixed herbs. Oh, that smells really good. So some mixed herbs. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Gorgeous outside. Now, don't get me wrong, I do love colder weather and darker nights, but I do prefer the summer. And it's only half past three. <laughs> half past three, and it's about to go, uh, go dark. Okay, so on goes the lid. So I've added some herbs in there, I'm going to pop that on, let's lift you up again, one last time. So now this is the proper mode, we're going to press mode, smooth, you can have chunky, press start and it's going to cook in 21 minutes. Okay, so we're going to now, I'm going to move you across because we're going to make the chilli con carne. So how best do I do this? Let's. Flip you around. Should we do it like this? I think. Oh, sorry for the mess, guys. <laughs> we'll put you. We'll put you here like we used to do the good old days. Do you remember? How's that, everyone? Whoops. How's that? Is that all right? That's not bad, is it? I'll try to read my comments. Okay, so we're going to start by heating your pan. 
I've got, a, you don't have to add any oil in this, but I do like to add a little bit of oil in there. Okay, we're going to add in the beef mince. So I've got 500 grams of lean beef steak mince. So let's get this in. So we're doing it. We're doing a chili con carne, Alexis, and for those that have just joined, so I'll break this up. I'll just get it in there. Oh, it's definitely hot. That's the uh, soup maker. If you can hear it in the background, right, let's break this up. So I've got a silicon spatula here. I love this tripod, but it's just a bit... There we go. Can you all see that I'm not in the sh shadow, am I? There we go. So just break this up. I know Anne likes this pan. You like this pan, Anne. This is the 8-in-1 multi-pan from uh, Tower. So just break it up. I need the uh, mix and mash from Pampered Chef. Just break it up. It smells good. Almost there. Okay. Just wondering if the veggies will fill in with the tomatoes and everything. Do you mean for the uh... corn? <laughs> Keep wanting to call it corned beef hash for some reason. Do you mean for the um, chili con carne or for your recipe? This smells really good already. Right, I'm going to put the onions in because they uh, always take a while as well. So add them in. I usually like to make sure all the beef is cooked but you can just add in all your vegetables I don't know what's wrong with me today I keep dropping things <laughs> anybody know the reason oh, let's get all these in can't read your comments, I'm after. No, we'll keep it as it is. Oh, for the chilli. If all the vegetables will fit in. I think they will. I think they will. But yeah, I know what you mean by... <clears throat> I always add too much sometimes. I just like to just throw everything in and then hope for the best. But I think they will. Oh, do you mean into this pan? <laughs> I think I think they will. I think they will. I think my rice is nearly done. And you can always put the lid over the top as well. Something in case it doesn't splash everywhere. It smells really good. Right, we'll wait a little bit until the onions have softened before I add in the peppers. So it's quite, as I say, it's quite an easy recipe really when you've got a mix. You love the onion, says Jay. Turn the heat up a little bit. All 
I'm gonna read the instructions. So it says for this chili, brown the mince for five minutes and then mix in the seasoning, tomatoes, kidney beans and water. Bring to the boil and then stir. Might be better putting the lid on this. I've turned it up a little bit. But yeah, I think the last chili con carne I made was from Hello Fresh. I think it was a Hello Fresh recipe that I made, and it was completely different to this. It smells really good. Sure, all that beef's cooked. <laughs> it's, it's not very exciting, is it? I keep standing in the shadow, I do apologise. What's Annie cooking today, says Jay. Thank you for the follows. Do follow, guys, if you're new to the channel. So, we're doing, we do cooking. I don't do as many cooking live streams as I used to do, but I'm hoping to, to bring that back soon. Um, I prefer to do the videos, I'll be honest, and it's just because if you if you don't get to see this live stream and I don't do a video, you never you don't get to see the recipe. Um, so I'm hoping to do the Hello Fresh recipes again, but I'm going to do them on videos, and then what I will do is do some new recipes. I want to do some new recipes. Maybe we'll do some new recipes live. And do the old video, the old recipes on videos. What do you think? But I want to do more air fryer recipes as well. What? Something like that. Anne wants me to do the live stream. Well, I know Anne does a lot more live streams than me now. <laughs> Let me just stir up, stir my uh, rice, because I think the rice might be done. But with rice, you can cook it. You can cook it and just put the lid over the top and um, just leave it. This smells so good. I'm not going to drain any of the fat off because it adds flavour. And because it's cooking Saturday then <laughs> you've got to have flavour. So you see how them onions have now nicely softened. Soup's got 13 minutes left. Just look at that. It smells really good. What's that, Jay? I accident. I actually defeated. You deleted TikTok for a couple of weeks. Just and reinstalled it because. Ah, oh, because we were both live here. Ah, oh, thanks, Jay. I know there's a few others that don't have TikTok, so I always post the replays on my YouTube. So if you ever want to watch, catch the replay of anything that I do on TikTok, I, if it's a good if it's a good live stream, I'll always uh, post it there, so you can always watch it back. But that means a lot, Jay. Thank you so much. We love you, Jay. And I hope I hope Melanie's watching this. I hope you're listening in, Melanie. We love you. you might have a if you're watching this, Melanie, you might have a little something arriving this week over the next few days. So uh, listen out. Okay, so that mince is now brown. I think five minutes is long enough. So we're going to add in this seasoning. So this is where all the flavour is. Although I do find some of these packs contain a lot of salt. So just be careful, make sure you read the instructions. Whenever I make like curries now or anything with seasonings, I just, sometimes it's easier to add it in yourself. So just be wary of that. But anyway, we're gonna add this in because I was being quite lazy. So I thought I'd buy the pack. So we're gonna add this in, add it in slowly. A mix brings out all them flavours. This smells so good already. With add as a, add as little or as a, much as you like. But 
here, you can do this with any meat, any meat you cook, add your seasoning to the pan as you're cooking. Like if you're doing fajitas for example, I guess a fajita mix is kind, you could use that in a chilli if you really wanted to. Okay, my rice is done so I'm going to turn that off. Oh, it. So my rice is cooked, there we go. Let's put that to one side. Give that a stir, fluff it up, pop the lid over the top, and then your rice is done. Oh, the soup maker's blending, if you can hear that. Get all that seasoning in. It says it takes just 25 minutes. That smells incredible. And it's also absorbing all those fats as well. Making everything just so tasty. Okay, so next thing we're going to do then is we're going to add in the tomatoes. So we've got some chopped tomatoes. It says to add water, so I need to figure out how much water. I think there's the tomatoes. These have got herbs in and you could add some garlic if you wanted to this. Do you know what I've forgotten to add? We'll mix this in. Like so, look at that, wow. I'm going to add in the peppers. So both the green peppers and the yellow peppers. Just check that out. Make sure it's all broken up. Once the lid goes on, it's going to end up um, softening anyway. Going to add in the Mexican beans. Now I'm just wondering, do I need to drain these? Uh, do you know what? Because it's got water in it, ask for water. Depending on what it is, add in your beans. This is a Mexican style bean mix. And then just give that a mix. Oh, just look at that, wow. I might add a drop of water in this. Let me just check how much water it, oh, I'm gonna add some herbs, more herbs, like that. It asks for, 125 mil, so I've had an extra 50 mil or a cup of water. Let me just uh, grab it. So, instead of a bit of water, and a little bit more, like so. Give that a mix. And then I'm going to put on the, oh, just check that, that looks amazing. Look at the colour. What do we think? What do we think, guys? What kind of, what kind of why our YouTube channel is your cooking channel? What kind of, so we're all sorts of different things. And not so much cooking videos, but because they tend to be on TikTok. But you can find lots of recipes there. This smells amazing. Try and read the comments, guys. Do apologise, I can't always read all the comments. I'll try my best. Can you... You can get, get kidney beans. Kidney beans are in that mix of beans. It does ask, ask for kidney beans, but uh, any chilli, it doesn't always, you don't have to stick to just kidney beans. You could add any sort of beans in. Don't add baked beans. <laughs> but you could if you wanted to. We could try, we could try that. Okay, I'm just reading through the comments. Jay says, I've been using a lot of ground turkey lately. It's a good substitute. Yes, turkey is really good. It's also less points as well. 
if you're on uh, doing any sort of Weight Watchers or anything. But obviously, I can I know the reason why you've had turkey though, Joe, because it's just been Thanksgiving, hasn't it? Oh, just look at that. That smells amazing. Mm. I'm actually only having this soup, but I'm going to have to have some of this chilli as well, I think. Right, I'm going to put the lid over the top of this, because it needs to cook for a good 20 minutes. Well, 15, 20 minutes, especially for them peppers to, uh, to cook. Just, I, had my, uh, I had my lid in the sink, so I've just had to wash it. <laughs> if it goes a bit steamy, it should be all right. So pop that on the top. If you want to buy this pan, this is the 30 centimetre one. In fact, let's flip this camera around. So, because you, let me spin you around. Can I do it this way? No, nope. I've got to turn you around again. One minute, guys. You should see me in just a second. Ah, oh, hi, Charlotte. Let's flip this camera around. All right. Uh, right, where should we start? Should we start from the top? Let's go from the top. Oh, TikTok's not for you, Jay. I think it just depends on, you know, like if you stream yourself or which, or do, it's whether you do videos or live streams. And But we're, we want to get you up to, um, we want you to be able to go live, Jay. So hopefully that will happen soon. Once you can go live on TikTok, it just helps with everything, your videos, you know, they always encourage you to go live as much as possible um, because that's where you get most people. But video, I do, I do love doing videos though. But I think it's whether you're a video, if you like, prefer doing videos or whether you're just going live. And I know Jay, you can't go live at the minute, so we'll we'll try and make that happen next year. Uh, so we're cooking. We've done a soup, Charlotte, vegetable soup, and then we've just done a chili con carne. I've only got ten minutes left, so I'm going to try and show you. I'll show you the soup try and show you the chilli but if not I'll post it in our chat group oh there's a little translate button now I didn't know that translate <laughs> somebody pop some in Spanish see if it works uh, how old am I says Jay I am 33 years old Jay that's the soup maker uh, yeah Anne says can you get chilli beans in chilli uh, yes there was chilli beans in that tin, but you can have them separately. Uh, what kind of... Yeah, we've got that one. Uh, why am I cooking on the floor? <laughs> so who says that? Let me see what that's... The Yappa says, why are you cooking on the floor? I don't know what... Oh, maybe they were, saw the camera when it was flipped. It was actually facing the ceiling, not the floor. Um, hello, Ken. Good to see you. Hi, Rosie. Uh, yeah, he's not... <laughs> Says, make sure you're following Anne, everyone, because she's an Anne Jay and Darby and everyone else. These are amazing chefs who cooked and kept us sane through lockdown. So make sure you're following these creators, guys, um, and chefs. Yes, because you are a creator. Uh, Kylo Kim, good to see you from Seattle. She keeps coming up on my screen, Seattle, with the. I don't even know what it's called. It's like that building that goes up and there's the round thing. Something is behind me. There's always something behind me. Uh, do I do recipes? What's that say? Do I do recipes? Oh, there's the... Uh... <laughs> I knew Anne would be the first one to put a message up. So Anne just... It came up translate and then... There we go. What do you wish for Christmas? There you go. Hey, that's clever. Uh, I know that one, Darby. Una más cerveza, por favor. Me gustaría dos cervezas, por favor. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know, we've been waiting for a translate option. Hola, ¿qué tal? Muy bien. Gracias. Estoy muy contento. Oh, muy contento. I'm very happy. Yeah, especially when watching Emmy's videos, Ken. Definitely. So how are you, Kim? There's lots of comments coming through now. That's it, the Space Needle, yeah. I'd love to go up there. Have you seen that thing in New York? It's a new attraction. Is it on the Rockefeller building? And it's it's the plank. You know the famous picture with the uh, the plank 
where there's the workmen on sat on the top. You can actually ride the plank, and it doesn't go too high, but I would not like to be on the end of that, because it swings out a little bit. And if you slip, and there's no belts or anything, if you fall off that, or it's windy, that person's going to get knocked off. That would, That is more terrifying for me than going up to the top of the building. At least you know you're protected. Oh, and the soup's done, guys. The soup's done, the rice is done, everything's cooking, everything's perfect. Right, for those that wanted that pan, yes, soup maker, okay. Oh, that looks amazing as well. Oh, oh right, for those wanting that, that pan, there you go, let me just pin it up. <laughs> There's always one. There it is. Oh, I miss using that omelette pan as well. Oh, there's that grill pan as well. Where is it gone? It's the one with the lid. There it is. $36.99 if you want that pan. There you go. It's pinned up on the bottom of the screen now. Right, should we get back to this soup? Right, I'll pink that. What we're going to do... <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, I'm losing the will to live, guys. Right, we're going to go over here again. Pop you in this spot, because you all like this spot. Look at the mess in this kitchen. <laughs> oh, I've had it... Because I've moved you around now, it's not going to stand up. Oh, we just have to hope for the best. Right. Yes, you can see the ceiling. Let's flip this camera. Right, the soup. Here it is. I'm going to use one of these bowls. Can you all see this? What I love about this soup maker, once you've turned it all off and unplugged it, here's the soup. What do we think? This is the veg. I told you because I like more carrots. How the colour changes. Look at that. I'm going to add a little bit of butter to this. I actually, have butter. You could put you could put cheese on this if you wanted to. You could. What else could you add to this? Mixed herbs, let's put a little bit of mixed herbs on. Oh, look at that, look at that. Do you know I forgot to add? My broccoli. Right, let's put some butter on here and then we'll serve the chilli. And then, next up we've got Anne Rush. We're going all the way to Denmark. So I put the butter in, but it's falling in. But I want to serve this with a scotch roll. You cannot have soup. Uh, a scotch roll. So let me just put this on this tray. So I can see it properly. Right, let's get the uh, red knife. The chilli's looking good. So I'm just going to cut this in half. Let's get a plate. I'm going to butter. I think I've got enough time, haven't I? We need to try it as well. But yeah, add more um, vegetables. You can add so much more vegetables if you wanted to. And it has to be Lurpak. There we go. You see that? There we go. So we've got a nice scotch roll with the soup. Now let me just stir the chilli and then I'm going to put it into a dish. Oh, that smells really good. Turn it down a bit. So, I'm pop this butter away and then I will serve the chilli so you can see what it looks like. So, we're going to start with. I'm going to put it into a different bowl for the chilli. We're going to start with the rice. Which needs fluffing, fluffing back up. 
don't know how much rice do you have with your chilli. But I always start with the rice on the bottom. So I'll just show you it. There's the rice. Okay. And now for the chilli. Oh, this looks so good. It looks amazing. Lots of colours. And you can serve it with some uh, flatbreads or... I prefer more meat over the rice when it comes to the chilli. There you go. What do we think? That's the chilli there. And then you can serve it with some plain flatbreads. So they can be toasted. You can have it with some tortillas or anything really. You never serve rice with chilli. See, that's, that's, that's such a massive cultural thing. Because with chilies, we, we prefer it with rice. But yeah. There we go, guys. So let's... I'm going to try some of my soup. Back in just a minute. Let's try this soup whilst that chilli, I'm going to leave it to cook because then the flavours will all come out, more flavours will come out. Right, let's try this soup, here we go. Shall I turn it round or shall we, uh... it's very hot. So you've all seen what it looks like, let's flip the camera around. Come on. This camera's brilliant but it needs to can only like stand up in one place. Right, and it's very hot. Right, okay, so I'm gonna try it on its own. Oh, it's very, very hot. And these are heavy as well, these. Let me just bring it down a bit. We'll get there. Top it with some croutons. Yeah, that's another thing as well with that soup maker. You can make croutons in it or cornbread. Do you know, I've never made cornbread. I have tried it. And I love it. So here we go. Look at that. It's very hot. Oh, that is gorgeous. Oh, that is delicious. It's very, very hot. Let's try it with the uh, bread roll. Here we go. We're going in. Do, 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 do. That is stunning. That is stunning. So thank you all for watching, guys. Um, it's so hot. <laughs> I'm going to have to take a picture of it as well. Mm. So thank you for watching, guys. Anne's about to go live, so go and check her out. Make sure you're following Anne Rush. Mm. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Best of luck. Don't forget, I will be back on at 9 o'clock. I think it's 9 o'clock UK time. So, with some word games. So, see you then, guys. I'm just going to eat this now. Bye. Thanks, Kim. Thanks, Anne. Thanks, Alexis. Thanks, Jay. And everybody in Derby. See you soon. Don't forget to follow.